With even colder temperatures on the way, the Beltrami Humane Society reminds pet owners to make sure they are taking proper care of their animals. Kathleen Cohen has several safety precautions for pet owners to ensure pets stay healthy this winter. When it comes to winter weather, four-legged family members, such as dogs and cats, are affected by extreme temperatures the same way as the cold affects their owners. The cold temperatures affect animals just like they do people. So if you feel cold, it's likely that your pet might feel cold. Um, and just like in the winter, it's very dry and our skin might dry out a little bit, that, that can happen to animals as well. Executive Director of the Beltrami Humane Society says that pet owners should make sure that their pets are not outside for an extended period of time. Pets have longer coats and that helps, um, but other pets uh, have, have short fur and that's when you can use something like a, a sweater like this. Uh, you can get it at Target or a local pet store. Um, and that can really help adding that layer of protection. Animals can get frostbite and may suffer from hypothermia if outside for too long. You'll see it in cats a lot where they lose part of their ears and that's due to frostbite damage. So if there's an area of skin that starts getting hard, um, it's, it's losing its color, or it's turning purple, that kind of thing, um, you really should take it to the vet immediately. Winter chemicals such as antifreeze as well as the salt on roads and sidewalks can also be harmful for pets. You do want to look out for the salt um, that's on the roads or on driveways. Some of it's not um, pet safe. Um, so that's another reason why you want to wipe off your, your animal's legs or even your legs because they'll come up to your legs and your shoes and start licking and everything. And you want to you pay attention in, in your garage as well if like your car is leaking antifreeze. You want to get that cleaned up right away because um, uh, antifreeze especially can be poisonous to dogs and cats. If you see an animal that looks like it has been outside for an extended period of time, the Humane Society recommends contacting the local authorities. Kathleen Cohen, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.